I am Alexa Tinsley. I am the director of Jet, uh, director of Jet, director of programs for Jet Foundation. Thank you all for joining our community webinar series as we welcome PTC Therapeutics. Um, today we are having them discuss Inflaza in the landscape in 2024. We know that there are a lot of questions, so hopefully they can answer some of those today for you. Uh, we are grateful to PTC for coming on and sharing um this information to the community and making it accessible to you in your homes uh we do welcome frank who leads the u.s patient engagement team that supports the duchenne community tasia who is the head of u.s marketing for ptc and greg who leads the ptc cares team of case managers who help with the access to implaza so they are all here to chat with you today before we get started, I do just want to mention a few things. Um, today's webinar will be recorded, so if you do need to hop off for any reason, or if you know of someone who has questions and wanted to attend this webinar but wasn't able, you can always share the recording after the fact. We will have a Q&A at the end of the presentation. There is a Q&A box in your bottom panel. It's on my bottom right. Um, so if you do have any questions throughout the webinar, please do drop them into that question box and we will do our best to get an answer to you. Um, if you need anything or have any questions um, or if they have questions that were maybe not answered, please go ahead and reach out to me after the webinar and we'll get those um, we'll get those to the BTC team and see if we can get them answered. Um, and with that, I will hand it off to, I'm going to give it to Frank, Frank and he can give it to whoever he wants to give it to. So thank you all for being here. Thanks, Alexa. And thanks for inviting us, having us on. So just uh, a brief agenda here, like Alexa said, uh, we're going to uh, introduce those of you to PTC uh, who may not be familiar with our company. We're going to talk about uh, generics and what is called the DAW, Dispense is Written. Uh, initiative and then talk about PTC Cares team at uh, PTC and then do a QA. and a So PTC was founded uh, about 25 years ago in uh, New Jersey and we're actively engaged in discovering development of therapeutics for rare dis disorders uh, and Duchenne included in that group. Now, we pride ourselves, there's a picture, as you can see, of uh, a lot of us team members at a meeting we were at, and we, we pride ourselves with close connections with the patients, the caregivers, and the community members who uh, we work closely with. Uh, here's a little timeline for you on our history of our development in Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So you can see uh, 25 years ago, uh, back to 1998, when the company was founded, and we we're really one of the founding companies in uh, Duchenne clinical trials and helping to understand how to do clinical trials in the space. And you can see Adalorin, one of the one of the products that we've been working on uh, for quite some time, um, starting way back then, and then the timeline of Enflaza coming in uh, closer in 2017. So we're going to focus on Enflaza for this call today. And um, we're going to re review some important safety information on the next two slides because it's FDA approved. So we need to review this, but I will refer you to inflaza.com as well for a deeper dive or discussions with your healthcare provider if you have more questions or want to explore any more safety information. So uh, you, you should not take inflaza if you have a hypersensitivity or an allergic reaction to Deflazacor or any of its active ingredients. Uh, what you should know is that Inflaza can cause changes in endocrine function. There's an increased risk of infection when taken Inflaza and steroids. Inflaza can cause an increase in blood pressure and water retention. And it can cause severe behavioral and mood changes. Now, it could also, Inflaza could also cause cataracts or glaucoma. So you want to talk to your healthcare provider again about that and the, all these safety information, uh, safety considerations. Um, it could cause serious skin reactions, uh, skin rashes. So um, you'd want to seek medical attention for that. And then what should you tell your healthcare provider if you're considering a start on Inflaza? Certainly, um, if someone were to be on Inflaza and pregnant, uh, you would want to consider that. Breastfeeding, 
uh, and, and certain medications, uh, you know, primarily this wouldn't be for the, the Duchenne community, but those are considerations due to how the, the trials were done. Um, what are the side effects of Inflazo you see at the bottom? Um, and please, if, if you do have any of the side effects, uh, work with your healthcare provider, and you can also report directly uh, to the numbers at the bottom or the email addresses to PTC, usmedinfo at ptc.com or directly to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088. And here's a slide that shows our patient engagement team for North America, and that encompasses um, the team of six of us. And so hopefully you've had an opportunity to meet one of us along the way. But if not, we would uh, love, love to meet with you. We're often at uh, local and regional Duchenne events throughout the country, as well as uh, the national events. Now, <clears throat> the patient engagement team, you know, really prides itself in, in relationships and helping to make connections within the community. Um, we partner with patient advocacy groups, certainly with JET, and help to link families to services that they may not know about, and often will refer families to JET Foundation or other groups that could help support them. And you see at the bottom, uh, Empowering, uh, one of our real two true prides as a company and uh, this team is to help the community to be empowered through education and certainly knowing more about Duchenne and what their options are. Here's a couple of our uh, topics on our educational. We do have internal educational programming, a couple of different platforms. And if you would like to get a hold of us, there's a, our email address, patientengagement at ptcbio.com. We have an English uh, phone number also. You could certainly give us a call, 1-833-PTC-HOPE, or we also have uh, in Spanish, 1-833-PTC-VIDA. We have um, two individuals on the patient engagement team who are bilingual and speak both English and Spanish. So they're there to, to help and support the Spanish speaking community. So with that, Tasia, I will hand it off to you for an overview of the Inflaza landscape. Thanks. All right. Thank you so much, Frank. Uh, there's been a number of changes in the Inflaza landscape in 2024, uh, and I'll, I'll go through these events briefly. First, we talked, talked to you to update your insurance information with PTC Cares in early January, whereby PTC Cares can work with your provider to keep you on Inflaza in 2024. Second, Amflaza is facing loss of exclusivity in February 2024. This means that a generic version of Amflaza called Deflazacort can be produced by other companies. A generic medication, especially specialty drugs, um, have a couple of differences, such as active ingredients. Uh, some generics could also have a higher out-of-pocket copayment uh, than Amflaza. And once a generic is, is available, you can still stay on Inflaza and have access to PTC Cares by requesting what's called Dispenses Written or DAW. And, uh, and I'll talk about this uh, in a little bit. So you as a caregiver or through your HCP or a pharmacy can decide to stay on Inflaza using DAW. Uh, just one final note on um, the generic entrant is that the branded Inflaza still retains exclusivity in patients ages two to five years old with DMD. Uh, so the generic entrants only have marketing authorization for DMD patients above the age of five years for the next two years. Okay, so what is this, what is DAW or dispenses written? So dispenses written helps healthcare providers and patients advocate for their choice of medication whether it be branded, if they decide it's the right option for their patients. So dispenses written is a request to the pharmacy by either you or your doctor. There are two different types of DAW or dispenses written codes. There's DAW1. This is where your doctor signs or handwrites DAW on a physical or an electronic version of the prescription. And when this is indicated, a substitution of Inflaza by a generic is not allowed by the pharmacy. 
The second option is DAW2, which empowers you or your family. In DAW2, you can directly call your pharmacy to request branded Emflaza. And when you make this request directly with your pharmacy, uh, the pharmacy will dispense branded medication in lieu of the generic. So in summary, either you or your doctor can request DAW. That request is sent to the pharmacy for validation and shipment. So you can stay on Emflaza and you can continue following up with PTC Cares. Where or how does your physician request DAW? PTC has been working with the doctor's offices across the country over the last six months to help educate on the DAW process. So the Emflaza Star form has a, a field that the physician can sign to specify DAW for new Star forms. For refill prescriptions, many doctors use e-prescribing and they can indicate DAW1 or dispenses written one in their electronic medical record system to ensure that the patient receives the branded medication. I'll now hand it over to Greg to talk about PTC Cares. Thank you, Tasia. So I'm Greg Iovine, and uh, I have the pleasure of uh, heading up patient services here at uh, PTC, and uh, the ultimate pleasure of working with these uh, 16 amazing case managers that you see in front of you uh, on our slide. So you may notice uh, or recognize Jackie, Norma, Shalima, Peter, Bert, uh, Rick, Rachel, um, all of which have been with us for, for a while. And again, you may know. Um, our, our team has a, a wide range of skills that are meant to assist you uh, in case management, med uh, medical billing and coding, uh, as HCP office staff, uh, as pharmacy technicians. Uh, so they should be able to solve, uh, you know, any issue that you could uh, throw their way as far as, you know, with reimbursement of Inflaza. Uh, they'll also be able to assist you uh, in staying on Inflaza if, uh, if your doctor, pharmacy, or insurance, um, you know, is looking to make a switch uh, to generic. Uh, there's not many uh, problems that they have not seen at this point. Uh, so they could, you know, basically assist you from the beginning of your journey of Inflaza uh, through staying on Inflaza. Uh, five of our case managers are fluent uh, Spanish speakers. So uh, if that is your preferred language, they'll be able to help you seamlessly. Uh, each one of our case managers is a single point of contact for um, you, you and your physician, so they'll be able to kind of connect those uh, those dots between you. Uh, if the, in the event that uh, your case manager is, you know, not in one day, uh, another case manager will absolutely be able to help you uh, with anything uh, that you may need. So these are our uh, our uh, assistance programs uh, that are in place uh, to ensure uh, your access to Inflaza. Uh, that I'm sure most of you uh, might be aware of. So we have our copay assistance card. Uh, this is meant for patients that are enrolled in PTC Cares uh, who have commercial insurance. Uh, you'll see uh, as little as a $0 copay. Uh, our bridge program is in place uh, for patients also enrolled in PTC Cares uh, who might be uh, experiencing a interruption in therapy. Uh, so you'd be able to receive a temporary supply of uh, Inflaza while we work with your doctor and your insurance to, uh, to kind of clear that out. And then there's our uh, Inflaza Start Program or ESP program, which we're changing for 2024. Uh, and this is to uh, assist patients that are re-enrolling with PTC Cares. So you may have uh, had to, you know, you may have moved away from Inflaza to uh, go to a generic or, or an alternative. And if you're looking to restart Inflaza quickly, we'd be able to, uh, you know, hopefully take advantage of this program, um, you know, as long as uh, you meet the requirements and speak with your doctor about doing so. So just to wrap up, um, you know, as generics and alternatives become available uh, for Inflaza and uh, physicians and insurances uh, are making changes, uh, there's an amazing team of case managers uh, and patient assistance programs in place that are ready to assist you uh, to either come back to Inflaza or stay on Inflaza, um, you know, uh, if, if you so choose. So, you know, in the coming months or coming weeks at this point, uh, when you're scheduling your refill or you receive your refill from the pharmacy uh, and you see anything except Inflaza, you know, don't hesitate to give us a call at 844-478-2227 and your uh, PTC Cares case manager will be more than happy to assist you. Thank you.
PJ or Nishra Pune. There's any uh, Q and A? Can we can take them at this point? Yeah. Um, all right. So thank you guys so much for um, for sharing that. If anybody does have any questions, like I said, please go ahead and put it in the Q and A panel on the bottom of your screen. It's literally two little chat boxes that say Q and A on the bottom. So if you do have any questions, please put it through there, and we would be um, happy to try to answer those. Um, I usually give it a minute or two. I know it takes some time to process sometimes and formulate a question. Um, so while we're waiting, I just do want to say thank you to Greg, Tasia, and Frank for sharing with us today and being willing to talk to the community and for PTC um, for putting this information out there in a time where there are, you know, questions. So um, if for any reason we don't have any questions, again, um, if you think of anything after the fact, please go ahead and reach out directly to PTC, or you can reach out to myself, Alexa at jetfoundation.org, and I will go ahead and forward it over to their team, and they will do their best to get to, their question, to your question and answer it if they are able. Um, so with that, I will give it another minute, and then if not, we will wrap this up. Sounds good, Alexa. Thanks so much for having us. All right. I do have one question from Facebook. Um, have physicians been made aware of the uh, how to write the DAW scripts and the need to write that for Implaza to be continued? Yeah, we've been working with a lot of the physicians' offices over the last six months to ensure that they select the appropriate language on the STAR form and are meeting the state requirements. Each state has slightly different requirements. Um, so yeah, our teams have been working with them and they should be aware. Would you recommend families reach out to their physicians directly to, to um, and, and if there are any questions, maybe connect PTC and that physician, or how would you recommend families going about it if their physician for some reason doesn't know the process? It's a great question. They could either reach out to the physician or Greg's team with PTC Cares is a great additional resource um, that can serve as a as a single point of contact. Greg, we could yeah, we could definitely help them uh, walk through that if the uh, if they need to. All right, but awesome. the physician would be the best place to start if they want to stay on a plaza. Perfect. Awesome. Well, it looks like that is all that we have in terms of questions today. So again, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for sharing the information. Um, thank you for everybody who hopped on. And again, um, we hope to see you at another webinar in the future. And thank you to uh, Frank, Greg, and Tasha for sharing this information with us. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks, Alexa. Thanks for having us. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Appreciate it.